And we are with world-class engineer Jerry Thomas. And he's going to talk to us a little bit about a gravity motor that he recently saw. So go ahead, Jerry. Tell us what you uh, feel free to feel free to start any way you want. All righty. Well, uh, this is Jerry Thomas. Hi, everybody. Uh, I've got the uh, pleasure of being out here in Ohio uh, visiting with Timothy Trapp of uh, WITS, uh, World Improvement for the Spirit Ministries, and uh, he recently uh, 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 let me. Uh, Play or, or examine the rolling gravity wheel, which is quite a contraption. It's about you know four feet tall, roughly this and that. Anyway, we went out there and he wanted my uh, opinion on how I thought it worked and all that. And so uh, I got to spend uh, oh probably 10, 15 minutes with the rolling gravity wheel, and I actually had my hands on it. I got to see it and roll it along. We had a flat surface, which is how we were testing it. As I say, this thing was about maybe four foot around in diameter thereabouts and uh, kind of heavy. Uh, it took a little minute to learn how to balance it as I would move forward with it and roll it along this flat surface. And so I rolled it back and forth uh, a good 20, 30, 40 times to gain some experience with balancing it and, and, and experiencing its net positive forward thrust. It's like a very small amount of uh, it pushes itself forward in a kind of a continuous or, or kind of a pulse method, like pulsing itself forward. And so um, I ran back and forth with that several times because it took, for me, a few times to gain a feeling of this thing moving itself forward a little bit. Again, it was just a little bit. I think my evaluation was, though, that there definitely was a small amount of net forward thrust on a flat surface. And then as a comparison, we rolled it backwards against itself uh, in other words both directions. We rolled it in what would be the forward direction the way it was built and then we rolled it backwards in the reverse direction to see if there was any difference. And there definitely was a difference. Uh, the backwards motion was more chaotic and, and it just it lacked the feeling that it wanted to keep itself moving forward. So a lot of people would like to experience this sort of thing. I, I did get to experience it firsthand and as I say um, you know, and as our friend Timothy says, these gravity wheels, uh, a lot of people would like them to have a lot more force and a lot more uh, that you would feel. And so, you know, so I, I kind of would have to agree that it'd be nice if you could feel a little bit more. But it, again, it's just sort of a small amount of extra forward uh, motion that you get off of this thing when you roll it. And uh, as uh, Timothy says, these things could be improved. Um, however, you know, a lot of people heard about this from the WITS organization about the gravity wheels and this sort of thing. This was a special treat because the, the idea of a rolling gravity wheel, a wheel that moves itself forward uh, uh, either on its own or with some assistance, which is what we did. We, I assisted it as it rolled forward. So um, that was quite a treat for me to get to experience that. There's only, what, maybe 10 or 20 people that have gone to actually try this uh, gravity wheel, uh, and so I'm, I'm pleased to say that I got to try it and experience it. And again, uh, I would say their feeling was a slight net forward motion that the wheel was giving itself as I assisted moving it forward. And so that's that's what I'd like to tell everybody. Uh, that again, I really did get to see it, really get did to get did get to experience it. And uh, for all of those of you out there who would like to do that, I'm speaking for you, so to speak. So I'm glad to give this uh, testimony about this wheel. And, uh, and just to clarify, your your assist to move it forward is mainly just to speed it up to its speed it wants to go. Is that correct? Yeah, the, the wheel itself, of course, anything with weight has a momentum, and you have to kind of get it up to speed. Um, as I walk back and forth with it, you know, you know, I would go a little bit faster, and so the faster you went, you would notice, I noticed, that uh, there were certain speeds as you went a little faster that you, you definitely got a more positive forward motion that way, whereas maybe if you were going a little bit slower, the, the mechanisms didn't really have the same forward thrust to them. So these things seem to have a speed that they like to run at. Yeah, that's correct. Which is a little bit faster maybe than a slow walk. So, so yeah, there, there's issues. And this, these are big mechanical things. And people have to realize that mechanical things 
have momentums to them. And so when you get into their band of momentum, then, then, then it really carries itself forward nicely that way. Yeah, it's a little bit like uh, resonant frequencies. As both of us are electrical engineers, and as uh, from an electrical perspective, everything likes to resonate at certain frequencies. So in a sense, you could say the gravity motor wants to resonate at a certain frequency or wants to do its thing at a certain frequency, behave in that manner where it's con producing a, a forward thrust or forward net thrust. Yeah, it's it's going to have a band where it operates really well. And, and, and in motors and things like this, people are used to the idea of a power band in a motor, a motorcycle, or various things. And you, know, you have to match the transmission to the speed of the motor to get the motor's power so yeah, mechanical things are like that. They, they have bands where they work better. Now, just so it's clear to the viewers, uh, was there anything hidden in this device, or did you see everything? Oh, no, I actually saw every every single part of the gravity wheel, um, which was quite a treat for me, of course. Uh, you know, I've heard about these things with Tim Lee for a long time, and he was very open about uh, me seeing everything there. There was no hidden parts. Everything was quite, quite open, and... and you know, of course, I, I, I lack a certain mechanical ability, so a lot of mechanical things kind of slip by me, but I'm, I'm an electrical engineer, so um, I just thought it was kind of a clever mechanism is my, my feeling. But as an electrical engineer, there was no electrical parts like it. People often accuse people of uh, hiding electric motors and, and, oh, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the electric motors to supposedly throw the weights around. <laughs> yeah, there are absolutely no electrical batteries, no motors, no, no other parts, all mechanical. Um, you know, weights and mechanical things, and so that, that was, as I say, quite a treat to just see that this was a mechanical contraption with certainly, obviously, no hidden wires or batteries or no, no kind of, uh, any, nothing hidden, you know, this, this idea that people have and somehow Timothy Trap or Wits is hiding things from people, you know, when he, when he does show things to people, and I am one person he has shown a lot of things to, um, I, I can already tell everybody there's no trickery, there's no hidden business here. He's very sincere and honest about showing sincere people who are helping the ministry these things. Yeah, amen. Well, thank you, Brother JT. We really appreciate you coming forward and uh, be willing to testify a little bit. And, and uh, hopefully uh, it'll keep encouraging other people uh, to support the ministry in whatever way God leads their heart. So we're just everybody just pray about it and, and do as the Lord leads you. Um, yeah, amen to that. And uh, again, um, I, I'm trying to speak for a lot of you here as, as an eyewitness testimony for a lot of you. And, you know, I would like to see more people uh, being a little, little more supportive is what I would like to see. Okay, very Thank good. You. Very good. Thank you.